Hello there guys, uh, it's been a while since I've done a, a PC tutorial, ain't it? So, uh, bringing you one for Minecraft. This is how to set up a, uh, a server using uh, MC Admin. I, I realize that there are, there's an awful lot uh, available out there. Uh, this is just a personal preference. I mean, I've been using this for a while. Um, you, you know all the sort of default ones. Um, well, I don't know what it's called, actually. It's, it's just like Minecraft server, isn't it? The one that, uh, is it Mojang uh, sets out? But... I'm going to show you the setup MC MCAdmin, it's the one that I prefer to use. Um, uh, and I just, yeah, exactly that, it's a personal preference. Uh, if you, if you you know, prefer something else, go for it, but for those of you who haven't bothered doing service before, play with your friends and whatever, uh, it, it's a fairly good, good place to start. So uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. Uh, download in the description, of course, you've got mcadmin.zip. Uh, right click and extract. Preferably to MC admin. Ah, no, I don't actually because I've already got one. Um, just excuse me, I must make a quick folder. And then, oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong screen now. There we go. See what I'm doing. So I'm just going to extract it into a folder. It just happens to be called new folder. And I'm going to delete the zip file. Actually, no, I'm not going to move it out of there. Right, uh, basically, once you've extracted it, whatever you've got to. Uh, uh, let's just rename it to uh, server minecraft don't think that's correct is it server minecraft anyway uh, you should have four files in that you've got your license which is just you know well your license pretty uh, self-explanatory uh, you've got two dll files and an exe file uh, naturally first thing you want to do is run of course the exe uh, did you I don't know if you saw that you should have done uh, there's a little uh, command prompt window which just popped up uh, that'll pop up sort of instantaneously and then go away uh, you want to click well obviously if you want to click donate but just click no frank no thanks no francs um, also if you get an request from your firewall you want to allow it through uh, if you don't get a request from your firewall you will put you'll need to allow it through uh, in one way uh, or another so yeah, you'll need to do that. Uh, just uh, Google whatever antivirus you've got. For example, mine is AVG, whatever it is, AVG right there. Uh, so just Google like how to allow a program through your firewall, and uh, that should uh, get you started. Um, do you want to uh, just you know whatever you want really? I'm gonna click yes for that. Uh, yes, and I don't want to use that because I'm leaving mine as a public server. Uh, basically, whitelist mode means that only people uh, that are on your whitelist, only the names which you say, or the usernames which you say, for example, I've closed it now, but my Minecraft username, uh, only the names on, on your list will be allowed in. Uh, as it says, useful for private servers. Uh, I'm going to leave that off though because uh, mine's a private server. Uh, name your server. Um, I don't know. Always good. Uh, and what is your uh, name? Uh, this is going to be the account which you log into. Uh, my, I'll just load up the account which you log into Minecraft on. It's probably going to crash my computer, isn't it? But basically, that one right there. Uh, so yeah, you just want to allow that through. Where is it? I've lost it. There we go. And click confirm. Uh, it'll do some wacky shit. It might say updating, or if you've taken as long as I have, it'll already be updated. Uh, but that's basically all the setup which you'll need to do. I'm just going to close that in the background. Oh no, actually, yeah, you'll, you'll notice now that it's sort of created a whole bunch of um, other files. Actually, let's just, let's just go through these fairly rapidly. Uh, donation code, I've never actually... I have not seen that before, so I don't know what that is. Uh, you got your license from there, uh, of course. You've got your main config. Uh, also, I wouldn't um, mess with these, really, unless you know what's going on. Uh, you got your log, so uh, that's just log everything basically that's going on in here will be logged into there. Uh, your ranks, that's interesting. All right, okay, so that's your default ranks. Uh, I guess also that'll be set by the program. Uh, you got your server dot dot jar. Sure, to be a proper. Uh, yeah, there you go. Server properties file. Um, what you can do is you can open a Notepad folder and just drag server properties into there. Uh, you don't, as it says, don't save manually. Um, this is how you sort of edit it on the sort of official one given out by Mojang or whatever it is. I feel I need to say it in sort of a special way, so uh, excuse that. But you know, you've got your sort of um, online preferences here. Again, you don't really need to change any of these. Most of them are configurable from within the program. Uh, players, mods, uh, backups. That's pretty useful actually. That backs up your world. Uh, kits. That will be yeah. That's that and. 
course where's your world your world file should be here somewhere uh, but it's not perhaps it'll be created later yeah it should be created later when you click start uh, okay let's just get onto the program uh, you've got your configure option at the top you've got server properties uh, fairly useful don't change that really uh, your default port uh, you want to make a note of that but we'll uh, we'll get onto that later and of course you can change everything uh, within this here now default rank that's quite useful uh, guest is usually good um, pretty much just change the majority of those to your liking let's go on to rank config uh, this sets your ranks basically uh, you've got your band guest builder you know these are the default ones pretty much you can, you can of course create a new one uh, or you can edit them uh, they're pretty good as they are stand uh, default rather so you don't want to really do that uh, player ranks now this will be I think anyone who's connected to like ever to your server should be in here uh, and this will be the rank which they leave at I believe uh, so you know as you can see tweet you admin or you can just type in a name there and set it to whatever you want so as soon as it logs in it will be by default given admin or I will be given admin if I wanted um, I don't know whoever else you know you type their name in there and you do that or once you're logged in and playing you of course just select their name from the drop down box and click on the rank which you want uh, let's get out of that Go to configure move on to the next one uh, IP bands again fairly standard people who are messing up your servers you can just ban them uh, kits is quite interesting uh, although I don't really find a use for it uh, you can create a new kit and what this does is um, I don't know test I can't spell test uh, what this does this allows you to sort of in game just give a player a set sort of uh, a set list of items almost uh, as you can see you, know, you can give them a bookcase and I don't know, 64 of them uh, and because I've called it test so what I could then do is save that and uh, whilst I was in game I, w I could just give them test and it will give them a list instead of it's basically instead of typing out give a bookcase give I don't know a coal whatever else you know you can just give them a, the, the kit and it will shove them all of that stuff that's in the kit which you've made prior uh, kit share you can download some stuff from here that's like you know reasonably useful I guess uh, mess around with it at your leisure limited blocks again you know usually quite good at minimum of course you probably want to limit that to stop anyone from just like blocking up your world TNT also you can limit that so that uh, uh, only you as the admin uh, can use it and you know same with all the rest of it save people blowing up your world uh, command levels uh, ah yes, this this sets what what the players can uh, use in game. Like uh, give, you have to be an OP. You can set it to guest or whatever you want to do. Uh, server mods. Uh, I'll probably do a later um, video on that. Actually, I'm not going to get into that now. Um, and of course, you know that th this is sort of the main one. Uh, you'll quit there. Server start, stop, kill, and restart. Backup. Uh, that backs up your world. Um, all right, I guess we can uh, get going. Once you're ready, click start. It'll stay installing. I think I said. Oh no, it says starting. My bad. Uh, I don't know if you noticed in the background, but uh, a couple of things popped up here, including the world file, which I was going on about earlier. So uh, as you can see, preparing spawn area 20 percent uh, since we stuck on 20. Uh, but yeah, that'll eventually get to 100, and then you're sorted. No rush. Okay, there we go. Uh, as you can see, type help or question mark for help. Um, let's go ahead and log in to our world online. Uh, if we go to Minecraft, load it up. Tweed you. Because I made my Minecraft account whilst my Matty one was banned. Should have stayed with the same name, however. Okay, Minecraft. Uh, we've got single player. Obviously, it's not going to be in single player. It's going to be in multiplayer. Now, what you want to do is type. Oh, well, it was already up there. Uh, enter the IP of the server. If you're doing it on your own PC, this is so it's your server. You want to type in localhost. So that's uh, L O C A L H O S T, all one word. Click connect. Logging in, and there you go. You're in your world. Um, player. I don't know if that's really laggy for you. Um, I hope it's not. But this is essentially the sort of world that the server's outputting to the rest of wherever uh, and for some reason it's not letting me destroy stuff uh, ah no wait I remember I, I think I had to 
leave and join a few times the last time before it would actually let me do stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's just getting started. Anyway, I'm going to leave it now because it's probably lagging up quite badly. Um, awesome texture pack, by the way. I can't remember what it's called, so sorry about that. Um, but yes, that's that's how you connect to it. Um, a lot of people use the mistake of trying to connect to it via an IP or something else. Just type in localhost uh, and that will get you straight onto it. Uh, just one thing which you will need to do is if you want other people to connect to it, of course, you'll need to find your IP address to give them. You, they can't type in lo localhost because it will go to uh, uh, something on there. But anyway, basically you just want to type into Google. Um, I don't know. What's my IP? Oh, look, it's already there. load that up and it'll give you it right there this here is the number which you want to give to other people uh, possibly with your um, if you change let me have a look uh, I can't configure server properties let's just stop it server properties if you change your port number um, you'll need to append that to the end of it so you'll get sort of your IP let's just stop that Arr. Okay, copy. If you changed your port number, you'll want to get your IP and then put a um, is that a semicolon? I can't remember. It's the two dots, uh, not the dot and the comma. God, I don't even know what it is. Jesus, I think it's a semicolon. Anyway, and then you want to put your port number after that, um, so it'll be voila, uh, and that's what you want to give to people to connect to it. Um, also, you will want to port forward this port right here. I do have another tutorial on that, I believe, for uh, Xbox port forwarding. If I just go to my videos, I'm pretty sure I do anyway. Valkyrie, signing offline, change your NAT type. There you go, I'll link this in the description or possibly on the video at the moment. Uh, this is essentially how to set up port forwarding uh, for various routers. I'm doing it on my BT one. Uh, the only difference will be the ports which you need to forward. Uh, so if I just go to... hopefully that'll take me to the home hub. No it won't. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay let's go to... broadband BT home hub. There we go. Interesting. Anyway, uh, settings. Obviously, if you've got different routers, you'll need to do this in a different way. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll just I'll link you to. Um, is it portforward.com? Dot com. Probably simpler, I think, isn't it? <laughs> uh, here, you want to go to router list find your router so scroll down uh, I've got a BT one uh, billion BT BT home up two uh, just find your router on there uh, you want to click up top right click here to skip the sound of it because that's just irritating uh, I bl I hoping now uh, that there's gonna be a minecraft one here so if we click find minecraft minecraft server there we go uh, I'll link you straight to this, or well no, you can link yourself to this hopefully because I don't know what router you're on. Um, but this will take you through uh, how to do it and the ports which you'll need to forward uh, to it. This is a very good website actually, it'll, it'll show you uh, step by step what to do. So um, I'll leave you with that I guess. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope I helped. Download links in the description. Uh, do port forward by the way, because uh, it will improve the quality of your server. I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe and uh, see you next time with another video.